detained at the border to sanctuary cities like San Francisco and Seattle. His Twitter account, his Twitter announcement rather, comes hours after the White House said the idea was no longer under consideration. It's an idea that had reportedly been rejected twice by Homeland Security officials. CBS 4's Natalie Brand has more from the White House. President Trump now says his administration is weighing a proposal to send detained migrants to so-called sanctuary cities tied to the president's political opponents. California certainly is always saying, oh, we want more people, and they want more people in their sanctuary cities. Well, we'll give them more people. We can give them a lot. We can give them an unlimited supply. The plan had first been reported by the Washington Post, which said that in the last six months, the White House twice proposed sending migrants to, quote, places where local authorities have refused to hand over illegal immigrants for deportation. The White House had earlier confirmed that the idea had been floated, but then rejected and no longer under consideration. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi calls the idea disrespectful. It's just another... Uh, notion uh, that is unworthy of the presidency of the United States. The proposal reportedly first emerged in November as a large caravan of Central American migrants made its way towards the U.S.-Mexico border. The plan was apparently revived in February, but ultimately rejected by immigration officials. The president did not provide a timetable on if and when he would move the migrants, but in a tweet, he said it would make Democrats, quote, very happy. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.